Hello, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? This is Nisi and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Woo! Today we are out exploring a little bit because I was bored of building with the same blocks over and over. Um, and these are our beautiful glacial ice thingies. Um, and straight behind them is our base. So we've really not gone far, but look what I found! Yes, that, but that's not what I was trying to show you. <gasps> Bird streets! Oh my goodness. This is exactly what I needed. That or dark oak. Let's pick these up. So I chopped down every birch tree there and I gathered seven saplings, which is not too bad. So I'm going to check out this nether portal and the shipwreck and see if there's any goodies in here. Yeah, it's not nothing fantastic. I can grab the gold block. Can I reach it? Yeah. There is some crying of sedan there if we ever need any. Not just now though. Let's see what's in the shipwreck. Dark oak! <gasps> yes! This might be my favourite bit of wood in the entire game. Oh my god, look at it, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's getting dark though, I don't ring a bed. I'm gonna I want to get this quickly. I'm just gonna go go for the saplings. Oh that looks so weird. <laughs> Hitting it with the map. Wow, have a look guys. This is some seriously cool, cool mountains. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. Cause I'm keeping my eye on uh is this acacia wood? Yes, please. Can I grab it? Very, very quickly. I'm speaking quiet. Like, that'll mean that the mobs don't notice me. Okay, we found the fairy treasure island. I can never get this right. I know there's a trick to it. I think this is it. Which one is it? Could be either of these blocks. Ah! <gasps> wow! Okay. Never mind. See when I said that I never get this right? I'm just I'm just a natural born genius. Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Guys, you see what I'm seeing? That could only mean one thing. Is this our first village? It is! Aww. Cute little village. Let me steal your belongings. Hello. Kitty. Kitty, where? Where the kitty? Oh, it's chicken. Oh my god, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Oh, I didn't take that fish with me. Oh, baby. Baby, come back. Meow. Oh, and we're back home at our base. Woo! Let's have a look at the goodies we've got with me. That is a lot of some really good stuff. But I'm most excited about these saplings. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be so good to build with uh, some new types of woods. So I'm going to get these planted quite soon. 
Uh, but I wanted to get into the meat of the episode today. What are we going to be doing? Uh, well, oh, for all these beautiful goodies we've got, I've not got anywhere to put them. Nah. I'm not organized at all. My stuff's everywhere. There's a chest in here. There's a chest in the zombie farm. Uh, there's chests in there. They're just they're just everywhere, all over the place. There's one here. Uh, so I picked out a spot. This is where our storage room is going to be, our storehouse. Flattened out this big long spot. So we're gonna try to build something here. I'm not sure exactly what kind of shape it's going to be yet. Got a really long sort of narrow pot of land so we'll see, we'll see. I'm not too certain. Uh, and I've got a chest here full of wood mostly and some cobble deep slate I couldn't put anywhere else because all my chests are full um, to get us started and I I didn't anticipate to actually find so many saplings so we're gonna we might switch up the palette a bit let's get these planted ASAP I do need some dark oak in my life I said I was gonna start working on the storeroom but I'm procrastinating a little bit and I'm out exploring because it's a it's a big project and I'm scared to get into it. And look what I look what I found. We are so close to our base, it's just over there, that couple of hills. And oh my god, I cannot believe my luck. Look at this view. And the beautiful waterfall. It's getting late though, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and get these saplings, but wow. Guys, I think I love this spot. Have a look at it. See how beautiful it looks here. Wow. Absolutely insane. Got a beautiful flower forest over here with sunflower plains. Nice little river to swim through. And over there we've got some flowers and some mountain peaks. Into a gorgeous valley. And of course, the frozen peaks and the cherry blossoms behind us. And even there, that's our plane that leads to the base. This is honestly an insanely beautiful spot. I definitely, definitely want to build something here at some point. Wow. Wow, I cannot get over this. We did already have a sizable base over there. You know, I could be convinced. I could be convinced this is gorgeous. I'm so glad I ventured out here. Look at it. Look at how many flowers there is everywhere. Oh man, I should, we'll definitely need to come back here at some point. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Is that some work I've been doing? Yep, yep. I've gotten started on the storehouse finally. Stop procrastinating on it. Um, uh, and I'm sort of building a, a frame of what I think I would like it to look like. So let me talk you through this because I've done it slightly differently than I normally do. Um, I don't know about you guys, but normally when I build, um, I would start with like the walls of the building first, so the floor and the walls, and then the roof. Um, and only after that's done would I work on the inside. Uh, but I was really scared of working on this and the, um, you know, finishing all the walls and, and the ceiling and then not have enough space inside for everything I wanted to put in here. Uh, so I decided to work on it sort of backwards. Uh, put on, the first thing I did was put down my chest where I put my chest. Um, this one just they need another row on top of them. I've run out of wood while I was building this. Um, and then, then after I put the chest down, I sort of thought about how much space do I need in between. You know, I, then I started building around it. Um, and this is a little corner that I think I'm happy with. I'm going to copy over to both of those. We need to raise the chests up a bit. Uh, but I decided to go for some very simple themes to keep it cohesive and not too complicated. Uh, so I want to start with the darkest colour at the bottom and then it gets lighter as you go up. So we start with dark oak. Um, this is dark oak, dark oak. Then you've got spruce stripped into oak stripped and then you've got birch there. And the chest kind of fit nicely in the middle of that. 
Um, then I've got some leaves and some pumpkins for a bit of colour because they're really nice and they give me like a vintage sort of vintage leaves. I like an old schooly Minecraft aesthetic, you know? Back then when we didn't have all these fancy lightning blocks, lighting box, uh, uh, we didn't have loads of different decorations. It was just, this was a colour palette <laughs> and I really like it. It feels cosy. Um, so I think I'm going to copy that over to these two sections and once I've done that I'm going to think about how I'm going to join them together. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Ta-da! I have put up all the chests and it made the walls and ceiling around them and I'm just working now on getting these sort of in-between bits correct. I think I think I like this. Um, so for you, for this side of the walls are facing the the glaciers. We're gonna have some windows here. I'm thinking here we're gonna we're just gonna have multiple entrances. I wanna be able to freely sort of walk in at any point. I wanna be able to come in through this side or through this side. Um I'm not sure yet about here. I think a window's fine, but I think maybe on this side it's just going to be another doorway but yeah and i'm working on the outside now i need to create a shell for for everything here so i think i like the way this looks from the outside um i'm trying to be mindful of making it look cohesive with all the other buildings and if you notice they all have something in common yep there is an overwhelming amount of spruce logs everywhere so we're keeping that pattern we're, we're adding it on I don't have any non show spruce inside here. Well, I do do here, but these bits are sort of facing outside. Um, so I think it's fine to have a whole bunch of it outside. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking how it's looking so far. When, when I walk through here, it doesn't feel particularly cramped. There is only a three block gap here, but you know, it feels fine. Um, and I'm contemplating really if I want to add another floor onto this. Um, I might keep the roof flat uh, for just now so I can. Um, I did the math and it's I think it's 90 uh, double chests we've got in here all together. So, you know, I would assume that lasts us for a long time. But you never know if we're going to need more. So I might add, I might add something here in the, on this middle section. So it's not all like a flat thing. I don't know, I'll have to think about it, but I'm really liking it so far. I think I think it looks cozy. Uh, it's not too cluttered. There is a lot going on, but it doesn't feel overwhelming. So I do I do like it, yeah. What do you think? Looking good, isn't it? <laughs> it took me a while to get this finished, but I'm so happy I got it done. Yeah, I think I think it looks great. I really do. It was uh, it was a tricky shape to build with, and I don't normally build sort of inside out, but I'm 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 proud of proud of how it looks, both from the outside and the inside. Uh, I'm just in the process of actually organizing all my stuff into here. Um, so let me talk you through how I've got it set up so far. It's a work in progress. I might change a layer, see how it feels when I'm actually using it. Uh, but I've got this side of the wall for my wood stuff. So I've got some logs, some uh, planks, half block thingies, uh, some... Uh, <laughs> what do you call them? Like decoration blocks, kind of? Um, you know, just a lot of wood, wood stuff. I'm not filled out yet, but we've got loads of space if we ever run out. I got stone thingies here, so it's not just cobble, although it is a lot of cobble. Um, will I put smooth stone? I'll put smooth stone just now. I've got deep slate stuff. I've got 
uh, Santa Gravel, Dionite, Granite, that sort of blog start. Don't really. You get them in caves, but you don't really do anything with them. Um, then along from wood and stone, I've got organics and ores. Uh, pretty straightforward in the organics. I've got like organic stuff. Um, oh, what's going on here? Um, so I'm gonna put like my mob drops in here as well. Da -da. And I later on down the line, I might split up versus like hostile versus non-hostile. Uh, but yeah, I've got like food in here. Yeah, good stuffs in the ores. I've got my ores. And I also got all my tools that you make from the ores in here. I normally always keep them together. I might put a box in here for these. Um, then along from there, we've got decoration blocks and miscellaneous. So <laughs> kind of related. Normally my decorations go in the miscellaneous, but we've got the space, so I split them up. So in here, and I've got the wool and the paintings, some chains some glass in the miscellaneous I've got dirt so far <laughs> some obsidian and snowballs um if I'm sure I'll fill up with loads of stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else so yeah that's how it's going along let me show you the outside mm -hmm. it's cute definitely I've got two different types of roofs as well uh which look just lovely it took me a while to get them built in a weird shape but yeah and then the outside of the building uh, on this side is, well, it's the same as the front because it's very symmetrical. Uh, it's not quite decorated yet and I'm going to continue these paths onward and join everything together properly. But yeah, well, I'm really proud of it. So I'm going to continue on um, organizing all my stuff. And yeah, let me know what you think. I might... Hmm, I don't, it's a bit plain in here, but I do like it because there's so much going on with the chest. I don't really know if we need the, the decoration, more decorations in here. Does it feel a bit empty on the inside for you guys, or do you think it's fine? There's a bit of patterns here, you know, a bit of detailing, but not too much. Maybe, maybe I'll change out the floor on this balcony bit. Mm-hmm. I'm still full of ideas for it, so it might be different next time I record it. But yeah, uh, I'm so happy with it. So proud. Okay, I think we'll are done there for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye!